Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Happy Labor Day weekend. Hope everyone's having a good time, spending time with friends and family, enjoying the time off. And I appreciate you spending some time here on the channel, uh, you know, with that time off. Today I want to talk about Aptos. Uh, is it the next 300X plus coin? But before we get into that, if you like any of the content that I'm talking about today, please hit that like button. And if you want to continue to see uh, things that I put out on the channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified of all my new videos. Let's get into it. So let's talk about the market. Uh, today, Saturday, you know, a lot of people are out in the U.S., especially for the holiday. So a lot of people not really trading as much or buying. And that's reflective in the market here. You see Bitcoin's down about 2%, ETH's down 4.4%, BNB's down, you know, this is a little, mostly red and some green. ADA's, you know, was green. It looks like Dogecoin and Litecoin is a little bit green, but overall the market, you know, it's a holiday. A lot of people aren't trading in the U.S., um, so not a lot of activity today. So the global crypto market is at $977.6 billion, down from a trillion, so over the past 24 hours, it went down close to 2%. Um, the total crypto value is about 54.65 billion, down 13.13 over the past 24 hours. And Bitcoin dominance is currently at 38.91, a decrease of 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to be exact, over the past uh, 24 hours. So let's talk about Aptos. I've been hearing about this one. A lot of people are saying that it's the next Solana. And I've heard that about Nier and other layer ones, but I want to dig deep into this one and see if it would be worth an investment in the future. And if it is that type of investment, could you have astronomical gains if it catches on? So I did my homework. If you've seen my past videos, you know the steps I go through as far as looking at a project to see if it's worth my time. Um, so I did this with this one and let's see what we get. So the founders were employees of Facebook and Meta, and they were working on the Facebook blockchain DM. Uh, that project, however, I guess disbanded and they no longer going forward with that project in January of 2022. It's based, Apto Labs is based in California and it's a Web3 startup focused on building a proof of stake scalable layer one blockchain. Per the white paper, um, and I just saw that it came out in uh, August 11, 2022, it was developed with over 350 developers and being built on for the past three years. So based on that DM project that Facebook was working on. Um, the website also says that its objective is working on the most secure blockchain in the world with one of the industry's highest scalability. So they want to be the most secure and the fastest. So let's dig into it and see how they, uh, they plan to do this. Uh, so I always look at every project. I look at the website. I look at the founders. I look at social media following just to see what's going on with the project. Because if you've been in crypto for a while, you know there's a ton of projects that show up all the time. Every day there's a new project, a new coin, something coming up. And then there's rug pulls. And we don't want to be victims of rug pulls. We work hard for our money and we want to invest in projects that's worth our time. And we know can sometime in the future yield some positive uh, profit. So looking at the website, I browsed through this. It looked very official. Everything was very easy to maneuver, um, get some information. So uh, the check mark for the website is uh, is good for me. Now, if we look at the Twitter following, um, they have 129,000 followers. And most notably, you'll see that they're followed by Simon Bankman for it of FTX, the crypto golden child. So he's particularly, you know, interested in this project. So if someone like that's interested, I'm interested too. I want to see what he sees in this. Um, looking at their Discord, they over, have over 96,000 members in the Discord, which is very positive. So they have a community. They're building a community of people that believe in the project. So it checks off uh, one of the good things for me. Uh, one of the founders here, I said, like I get, he's uh, from uh, Meta Facebook, Mohammed Sky. And, um, you know, that's him there. His background he worked for Bankprove as a member of the board of directors, board member of Hunter College, advisor for R3, you know, advisor for Techstars, board member Stealth, and uh, strategic part, you know, strategic partnerships at Nova Meta. So that's when he was, you know, doing the thing for DM, and founder of that company there. So you know, he has a business background. It sounds like he's been, a, you know, part of technology and on, a, you know basically board of directors. That's what I see in his background. Now, the other guy, uh, founder Avery Ching, 
he has a technical background. Um, he's also based out of California, uh, co-founder again of Aptos. His background, he's the VP of Apache, uh, looks like Giraffe, if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, principal software engineer at Nova Financial and principal software engineer for Facebook. So his time at Meta building at DM. And also principal software engineer for Yahoo from October 2007, September 2011. So these, these guys know, you know, as far as uh, Mr. Ching goes, he has some software background. I like that. So the team consists of the original builders of DM consisting of PhDs, engineers, um, uses key elements of DM and a programming language called Move, based off of the Rust language that was used by Meta. Move language is claimed to be faster and can secure transaction execution. Claims Network will process 130 to 160 TPS with the assistance of Block STM, a parallel execution engine. So the move language, basically, um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but I, I read this before I kind of went through it. I'll read the most important parts here. It says the move ecosystem contains a compiler, a virtual machine, and many other developer tools. Move is inspired by the Rust programming language, which makes the ownership of data explicit in the language via concepts like linear types. Move emphasizes resource scarcity, preservation, and access control. Move modules define the lifetime, storage, and access pattern of every resource. This ensures that resources like coin are not produced without appropriate credentials and cannot be double spent and do not disappear. Then down at that last paragraph there, the Aptos team has further enhanced move with support for broader Web3 use cases. As mentioned later in section 5.5, Aptos blockchain enables fine-grained resource control. Not only does this support parallelization of execution, but it also achieves a near fixed cost associated with assessing and mutating data. Moreover, Aptos blockchain, blockchain provides table support built on top of fine grained storage, which allows for large scale data, data sets. Um, example, massive collection of NFTs in a single amount. Furthermore, Aptos supports shared or autonomous accounts that are represented entirely on chain. That's good. This allows complex decentralized anonymous organizations or DAOs to collectively share accounts as well as use these accounts as containers for heterogeneous collection of resources. So block STM. So some of the main points of this is no need to commit transactions individually, predefined order, reduce the synchronization and provide safety for optimistic memory access. The goal is a system design um, for our parallel execution engine is to manage all conflicts internally and automatically adapt to the workload. So the validators um, in the white pages basically shows and supports how everything looks. Um, I read through it, seems pretty legit. So looking a little closer to the validator setup of Aptos, I went in and I highlighted some of the important pieces of the white pages. The Aptos blockchain, as shown in figure 0.1, is comprised of a set of validators that jointly receive and process transactions from users using a Byzantine fault tolerant proof of stake consensus mechanism. Uh, token holders lock up or stake tokens in their selective validators. Each validator consensus voting weight is proportionate to the amount staked into it. A validator can be active and participate in consensus. Likewise, a validator may also be inactive if it does not have enough stake to participate. Rotates out of the validator set, elects and to be offline as it synchronizes blockchain state. Or it is deemed not uh, participating by the consensus protocol due to poor historical performance. Clients are any part of the system that need to submit transactions or query the state and history of all the blockchains. Clients can choose to download and verify validator signed proofs of queried data. Full nodes are clients that replicate the transaction and blockchain state from the validators or from other full nodes in the network. They may elect to prune transaction history and blockchain state as desired to reclaim storage. Light clients only maintain the current set of validators and can query partial blockchain state securely, typically from full nodes. So that's good. Uh, current stage of Aptos currently right now, uh, they went through Testnet 1 and Testnet 2. Both were successful. Currently, they're undergoing the Testnet 3. 
and following that is the mainnet launch and they have that projected for um uh, fall of 2022 so hopefully everything goes well with mainnet 3 and then we should be hearing of something pretty soon um by november of this year um no ico date has been announced so i'll be monitoring for that and as far as all my research i haven't seen any tokenomics as far as how tokens are going to be distributed so that's very important too to see if this is worth an investment so funding in the future overall they have 350 million raised um from over 25 investors and the most important one or the high you know um, status one is ftx vendors with sbf jump crypto um, the lead investor is vc hedge fund company para phi capital so it has that history like solana of vc hedge fund backing um, it appears to be vc backed just like solana but not as decentralized as eth and cardano um, it's still growing. Um, they hired Austin Verts, who was the former head of Solana Marketing. So you see that Solana world relationship there. So in conclusion, is definitely one to keep an eye on. Um, and you want to look for the announcement of the ICO date. Um, and you also, most importantly, I want to look at the tokenomics to see how the coins are going to be distributed and how many coins they're going to have in circulation and what the max supply is going to be. I'd like to know that info for sure. Um, we want to see how many developers that they'll be attracting, how many projects are coming on board and the overall adoption in the crypto space. So, you know, you want to follow for the announcements, uh, look at uh, crypto Twitter, see if they're getting a following on the Twitter page. The Discord, like I said, is almost at 100,000. So that's impressive for a new project. Um, I believe it has potential to hit that 300 X mark, you know, but in order for it to do that, it has to do the things I just talked about. Um, you know, if it can obtain that objective of being the most secure L1 and the fastest without needing a layer two, then it definitely has the future. It could hit 300 X plus. So guys, keep your eye out on Aptos. Um, I don't think it's a joke, but again, it's still in a very, very early stage. Let's see if they can get out of mainnet. Let's see what the ICO is talking about and let's continue to monitor and see how this one grows. Um, so yeah, it's promising for sure. So, um, happy holiday weekend for all my people in the U S and if you're abroad, enjoy your time with your family in the weekend. It's a beautiful little weekend over here. Um, be safe. And if you like the content, please hit that like button. And if you want to continue to see information like this, please hit that subscription button. It'll mean a lot to me. And definitely hit that notification bell to be notified when I come out with new content. So, guys, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Bye.